Hi, this is Chris from My Engineering World, and today I'm gonna show you how to use a small add-in that I created in VBA in order to calculate the length as well as the area of closed polylines in AutoCAD. First of all, you must ensure that you have the VBA module at your AutoCAD version, because starting from 2010, Autodesk has uh, removed the VBA module from the default versions of AutoCAD and you must download it from their site. So if you have AutoCAD 2010 or a newer version like 2013 that I have here, you must download the VBA module from their site. So you can either go directly to their site or of course you can search at Google as, I've, as I have done here like AutoCAD plus your version and VBA and usually the first result is uh, Autodesk page that has uh, the download options here according to the version that you have at your computer. So assuming that you have uh, installed the VBA module at your computer and at your AutoCAD, I have created this uh, sample drawing here which has three polylines. This one is closed while the other two are not closed. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this add-in. First of all at the command line you write VBA man. A pop-up appears where you can press the load button. You can find the file polyline area, open that file, enable micros and then you can directly go to micros and run the micro. This is the main form of the add-in. Let me first say that when the form loads all the layers of, add of uh, the current drawing appear in this combo box. So, you now have two, cho two choices. You can either select a layer and press calculate length and area, like this. Or, you can uh, check this checkbox and you can directly have the macro actually loops in all layers and calculates all the polylines. So, this is the polylines from all the layers. As you can see here, there is a open PL which a comment that says open PL, which means actually that the polyline is open. So, although this polyline, for example, looks closed, in reality it's not. So, this add-in actually refers to the to closed polylines. Having said that, you can easily create an Excel table with the results of all this list box by pressing this button. Now you have all the results, the results directly to your spreadsheet and you can further process. I hope to find this adding useful and I think that maybe civil engineers will appreciate it especially when they calculate the areas of some polylines. So, thank you for watching.